Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie, and as you can tell by the title, baby, we did the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale, aka SAS. Okay, so if you guys want to see the goodies I picked up, then just keep watching. But before we go any further, I would love for you guys to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification. Give this video a thumbs up and comment what you bought in the sale. So let me start off by saying, if you guys hear my fan in the background, y'all, it is like 100 degrees out here in Texas, okay? It says it's 86 degrees out here, but it feels like 92. But I feel like 100 because you guys know that I do record in my garage. I do have all these lights. The garage door is shut. My door to enter my house is closed. So let's just jump into my haul i do have two more bags over here i went i did online orders i did separate orders i did go to a different store like i went to more than one store and all that stuff so yeah let's get into it now i do have some products that i did pick up that i gifted my niece for her birthday i gifted my sister and then my other niece so some of the stuff is missing out of all these transactions because i did gift those products i did pick up the apple number two moisturizing body cream and i do know for a fact that i've been learning by watching different different bath and body work channels <laughs> that the body creams do expire before the body lotions but you guys with this sale it was whatever they were putting out i purchased this because if you guys follow me on my monthly perfume hauls that i do i did get a la appetini from lamande gourmand it's um i found it at a tj maxx for like I think it was like eight dollars it had clearance all the way out and i love that scent it smells like a juicy green apple if i drink martinis i will probably like to taste that one because <laughs> it, it just smells so good so i decided to get the apple number two moisturizer to pair with it um the notes in this is huh that's odd Hopefully it's on the body wash because I accidentally picked up the body wash too. But it just smells just exactly like a green apple. I did get the Wild Madagascar Vanilla Cream uh, Body Cream as well. I have never smelled this and I've been hearing mixed reviews about it. And to be honest with you guys, oh in the lotion it does okay so i think i got it in the perfume too but in the lotion you guys honestly it smells like the vanilla in this one but in the perfume it i didn't smell vanilla at all but i did get the full collection i believe so in madagascar the freaking notes is wild madagascar wild madagascar orchid african pear and wild jasmine this is one of those sexy date night bedtime type of scents like i think you me personally i'll wear it anytime anytime i feel but if you're looking for what type of occasion to wear it for date night or bedtime i would say is a go Ooh, and i did pick up the new watermelon lemonade body cream this is one of their newer um drops and i don't know if i ever seen watermelon lemonade in bath and body works i'm one of those bath and body work lovers that i'll be stuck on it for a long time and really hard and then i'll go like a year or two without even thinking about bath and body works and then i'll go back to it pick up one or two things here and there and then I'm jumping back on it like really hard. So if this collection has came out before, let your girl know because to me it's new. Watermelon lemonade. The notes in here is watermelon ice, sparkling water, 
sugared lemon. Y'all, Bath and Body Works be coming up with some night with, with with some descriptions. Yeah, this smells like good summertime at the beach. Juicy watermelon, like it's not that artificial watermelon. It really smells like a fresh watermelon that you're eating on a picnic or at the beach. Real sweet, but not childish, not artificial. It smells like a true watermelon. So I did get a free item type ordeal with my rewards because I was doing too many purchases. <laughs> and so I went ahead and picked up the Love Always Win because we are in Pride Month. I think this is their second year with the Love Always Win collection. I got it the first year or I got it for the first time, I think in 2022 or 23. My best friend had gifted me like a whole collection of the Love Always Win. Matter of fact, this I think this is the third time because I got the first packaging and then she gave me the second packaging and then this one looks like the previous packaging but it is just a tad bit different but they all still smell the same of course you know how bath and body works do so this is the vibrant citrus and sage and this one here is the diamond shimmer mist and i've been learning from my bath and body works girls to get a shimmer mist of like your favorite type of perfumes and with it being summertime pride month this shimmer falls right into play. Honestly, I'm wearing Love Always Win today. I used Mango Mai Tai Bath Wash from Bath & Body Works that I got years ago. I used the Love Always Win Body Lotion, the body cream, with a little bit of a Mimic Body Oil. Can't remember the number. And then I sprayed on the Love Always Win Body Mist and I used a heaven scent roll on and say i did pick up this shimmer because i needed love always went in a shimmer the fragrance notes is rainbow citrus water lotus and wood sage okay i don't smell no sage it is all light and fruity to me oh and i did get the soda strawberry soda body wash i purchased this for my niece in the spray and lotion and when I smelt it I was like you know what I kind of need this at first I was like yeah mm, nah my niece will love it it's fruity I'm a strawberry pound cake girl but this strawberry soda girl it smell like a strawberry phantom like for real for real oh and it's so sweet super sweet so in this is fresh strawberries bubbly seltzer and crushed ice. Bath and Body Words. Y'all, come on now. So, yeah. This one was a good one to pick up. I did kind of second guess. And I did turn around and buy my sister the spray. Because she said she liked it. And she had ran out of her pound cake. Her strawberry pound cake. And I got the Wild Madagascar um, Body Mist to pair with the Body Butter. But... This is the one I'm talking about. You don't smell the vanilla. Well, my nose, I don't smell the vanilla. It's almost like you smell jasmine and pear, which is still good, but I was like, why do they call it vanilla? Like the Madagascar vanilla when there's not a sight of vanilla in it, but maybe the vanilla is hidden and it may come out on the dry down. So y'all be following me on Instagram because I'll be trying to do like little mini updates over there or on Lemonade. I am on Lemonade. So here is my strawberry soda spray. It smells like a strawberry Fanta. And fun fact, you guys, I am a Coke lover. I drink Coke 24-7 all day long. But when I'm out and about in, at a food restaurant and they have strawberry soda, because I love the way especially the fountain drink fanta strawberry or crushed strawberry so good i also picked up the citrus perfume mist now i know nothing about this citrus perfume mist but a lot of the bath and body work girls that i've been following on 
YouTube. So you know if you watch one video, they're going to keep recommending those same type of videos. And I've been watching a lot of Bath & Body Works Sass hauls. And everybody was picking this one up as well as the Glow Exfoliator. Beautiful color. This is my favorite color of all time. Lime green, this neon yellowish green. So it kept catching my attention. So I was like, you know what? Let me pick it up and see. Y'all, I know nothing about this citrus line. <laughs> Fragrance with notes of salty citrus and bright stone fruits for a bold zesty scent. And it smells citrus. But it's a light fruity citrus like it's something else involved with it but I think I will wear this getting out the shower or going to work out type of thing so I'm happy to have it sad day sad day I heard from my Bath and Body Works girls that Bath and Body Works is getting rid of tropidelic and luminous well not for real like come on why are y'all getting rid of tropidelic and luminous so i had to go ahead and try to find everything i can that i don't own in the tropidelic and luminous <laughs> department so i did pick up the tropidelic exfoliating glow body scrub yeah i'm gonna have to use this slow I'm going to have to use the slow because I really, really love this. If y'all follow me in my vlogs and stuff like that, I spoke about Tropidelic when I went to my best friend's house and I, I smelt it for the first time. I said this smells like a lit auntie vibe. Like, it gives me lit auntie vibes. The one that be at the cookout dancing with you and have her drink and stuff. You know, I, I feel like this is her. And... If Bath & Body Works really is getting rid of this, y'all, I'm so sad. So sad. So, I did have to pick up the scrub. I do own the, I think it's the lotion and the spray. But, I want to get, I think they have the Tropidelic in the perfume. The notes in here is the Irresistible Passion Flower, Lang Lang, and Misty Rainforest. Like, y'all, this is so good. Oh, it's so good and I'm so sad if it's true in the packaging beautiful that somebody works why y'all hurt me y'all can't hurt me like this why you gotta do on me girl so that is the first haul second location y'all they have the rainbow clear bag this is due to the pride and it it just says love always win bath and body works on it everywhere with my kids being in school they recommend us or they mandatory tell us that we have to have a clear bag when we come into the school so when i seen this i was like <laughs> gotta get it and for nine bucks I had to get it now maybe it will go down to the 75 percent off but hey i needed to get it just in case if people really liked it and really want to you know get their hands on one i'm gonna use it as a purse so had to get it i did pick up me a iced lemon pound cake um lip gloss it was like two dollars and i really like the lemon pound cake scent so I really hope I like the lip gloss. I never had Bath & Body Works lip glosses before. So I was like, yep, gotta get it. And like I said, I was at a different location. So they had stuff that my location didn't have. Got another free item. So I picked up, babe, this new single, single barrel bourbon body spray. And the notes in here. And the fragrance notes in this one is Spice Citrus Smooth Tonka and Aged Aged Oak. I like this scent. I think this is one of their newer scents and I think they came out with it for Father's Day. So, hopefully she likes it. And then you guys, they came out with, well they haven't came out with it yet. They're, they have like the, this travel size hand sanitizer 
and the small travel size of the new Gangnam Glow that's going to come out in the fall time. Isn't the packaging so pretty on this? First of all, like it caught my attention and I've been a Gangnam freak so far. Like I've been liking all the Gangnams. Um, this one don't have the notes on it. Oh, I got the watermelon lemonade spray to match my body butter and I picked up this laundry care like this laundry detergent Bath and Body Works do have the shampoo conditioner laundry detergent and laundry boost booster scent uh, little sh seeds shakers whatever you want to call them I decided to pick it up pick up one and try it because it was nine dollars so the one that smelled okay to me is the white sage and white tea and sage um it says the fragrance notes is sparkling bergamot white tea and fresh sage y'all they really in my opinion my nose they're not good fragrances when it come down to the laundry detergent but this one smells really good this was about the only one that smelled really good to me um oh and there was a coconut sage or something like that but that one wasn't on sale but those were the only ones that smelled good to me so i picked up this one to try um i have the white tea and sage bar soap that will be that will be in my empties video pretty soon and it smells damn good so that was for the second location now on to i really need to start saving up for these type of um sales because the way i burnt a hole in my pockets all right Purchase number one. Cause in here is three different purchases from the same store. This is how my online order came. I did pick up my luminous. Farewell, my friend. Okay, so I picked up the luminous body cream. I have the body spray, I think. The notes in this one is Ruby Current, Gilded Iris, and Praline Amber. Y'all, this smells so good it's almost like a church scent like for real for real it's almost like one of those good smelling old ladies at a church oh she's so soft but yet pretty like really pretty and just because I say that it smells like one of those church scents it's not one of those bad church scents so I, I hope Bath and Body Works is not discontinuing luminous or tropidelic here is the apple number two body wash i mean number one i think the spray is number two right i mean the lotion yeah okay so this is the body wash and it says number one here's number two and i guess the spray would be number three maybe but i don't think i picked up the spray at all i did pick up the body wash i thought this was the lotion moving fast ended up being a body wash so i was like screw it screw it i still like it i'll bathe in it whatever this one don't have the notes on it either so i did pick up another lip gloss and this is the happy birthday vanilla i think lip gloss it says the flavor is burst i don't know it smells like cake batter i picked up the luminous diamond shimmer body mist got me another shimmer that makes i think three or four shimmers that i got now so i think i'm set on the shimmers but had to get it to match because this is going to be like one of those long time favorite scents for me so yeah i picked up the ice lemon pound cake lotion um, I do have the ice lemon pound cake in the travel size of the body mist and I bought these because I do have a certain 
Bodycology Lemon. I can't remember the exact name, but it's a lemon scented body wash and lotion. So I decided that I would pair these and that lemon by Bodycology is more of a soft tart smell of a lemon and these two are more of like cake batter lemon. So I thought if I pair all those and layer all them up together, you know, mix and match them, that it would give me a good, great edible scent. You know, like, a girl wants you to eat them up. If y'all don't know who I keep recreating or mocking, it's a girl off of TikTok that does perfume reviews. And she is just so funny. It make, I don't be on TikTok, but every time I catch her on TikTok, I go down the rabbit hole watching her reviews because she is just so hilarious. In the lemon iced pound cake, iced lemon pound cake, the notes is sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake. Y'all, this, when I say strawberry pound cake and this iced lemon pound cake, Oh, my niece and them was like, mm -mm, I don't like, I was like, really? Even my sister said she don't like it. So I guess it just all depends on your type of love. But I really am a gourmand lover. I love to smell sweet and edible. So I did pick up me a Dahlia um, body wash because I have the spray. So the fragrance notes is a uh, Velvet Dahlia Petals, Crisp Pear, Praline Musk, and Whipped Tonka Bean. Y'all, this is so good. This one smells expensive. Oh, it smells expensive. I had to get her. I had to get her in the bath wash because, oh, girl. And then the last one in this purchase, in this, in this haul of this purchase. I did pick up another strawberry pound cake, backup body cream. Got a couple of strawberry pound cakes in my collection already being used backed up backed up okay got to because i don't want to ever be without strawberry pound cake since i mean the notes is fresh strawberries golden shortcake and whipped cream when i say i love this and this pairs so well with latafa renee's um, Yara, the pink bottle. Oh, girl. So, the next purchase I made, I had got the Dahlia body lotion. So, this is what I'm talking about when I say these last longer than the body creams. The body creams last longer on your skin. The body creams last longer on your skin, but they expire quicker than these. These don't last on your skin as tough as the body creams, but these expire way later, if all that makes sense. Hopefully, I made it make sense. So, I did pick up the Dahlia Body Lotion. I picked up the Wild Madagascar Vanilla Body Wash. And, of course, I had to get another Tropidelic Body Wash. So, I did get another reward for another free item. So, I did pick me up an In The Stars. And this is what I was talking about. They do have In The Stars in their laundry detergent, but they do not smell alike. So, yes, I had to pick me up another In The Stars body mist because I did put it in my empties video. I think this is the first one of the year. It had, I've been having that spray, I don't even know how long, but it finally, like halfway through the bottle, when I say halfway, like down here, it started to smell like straight alcohol, so I went ahead and had to get rid of it. So I was like, I have to pick me up another one because I still have the lotion. I did have the body wash, but the body wash, spoiler alert, is gonna be in the next empties because I use it all. And it's the moisturizing body wash, not the regular body wash. Everybody should know the fragrance notes of In The Stars. If you don't, it's Star Flowers, Sandalwood Musk, Sugared Tangelo, 
white argwood radiant amber what is argwood i'm gonna have to look that note up and the tangelo Ugh, it just I, I needed to have another one so got that picked me up another strawberry pound cake body wash i'm telling y'all i got backups for my backup as well as another strawberry pound cake body mist back up for my backup okay can't be without her i did give me a luminous body scrub i had to get everything that i don't have in luminous and tropidelic luminous body wash when i say this smells so good so good i had to give me a tropidelic body lotion and then the last two items is, I, I don't know if it's one of their newer products. And it is the Colopso Clementine. I really like this scent. So the fragrance notes is Juicy Clementine, Neroli Nectar, and Coastal Woods. This almost smells like Baccarat to me too. I wonder why people didn't pick this up. In the Stars is a strong scent that I know for a fact is gonna last all day. Like, I know that I've been wearing In the Stars for years. But she smells like Baccarat. But this Clementine, she's a heavier scent than In the Stars. And, but it's a good strong scent. So I went ahead and got it in the body lotion too beautiful packaging too okay wait this smells totally different this smells totally different from this okay wait maybe some in the star or something fell onto clementine because on the outside it really smells like baccarat but when i just sprayed it in a cap it literally smells just like this and this has a fresh orange scent like it smells like an orange peel you know how it smell when you peel the orange that zesty type of smell and it's stuck in your fingers and you can smell it that's what this smells like but perfume version um but yeah that is everything that i got from this sass call like this sass sale semi and you sell baby i am proud i'm happy with everything i picked up and if i can i'll go back and get some more and what location do they have me at okay so they do still have like a lot of shampoo and conditioners but if you guys have used their shampoo and conditioner let me know your thoughts down below because i was gonna pick up a shampoo and conditioner for my niece for her birthday um but i kind of felt like the fragrance that's in the shampoo and conditioner would be too harsh i would have all these products listed down below as well as direct links i don't have no codes or anything for y'all but I will have everything linked down below. I'm going to try to get this video up right now while the sale is still going on. And I'm going to try to link it directly to Bath & Body Works where y'all can pick it up. Maybe at Child Store if they still have it uh, in stores or whatever. Or get it online and get it shipped to you. I hate waiting for the shipment because Bath & Body Works, you got to spend like $50, $75 to get free shipping. Maybe I'll just go and spend my $10 to go up the road and get it. Okay. So, yeah. Thank y'all so much for watching. Let me know if y'all picked up anything or what did y'all pick up. Don't forget to let me know about the shampoo and conditioner if you have experienced it. And, yeah. If I got enough room in the description, go ahead and head to the description. Tag Bath & Body Works in this video down below in the comments for me just at bath and body works so that they can see like your girl be really trying to you know even though i love their products i really would love to work with them anyways yeah thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn your post notification on and i will catch y'all in the next one deuces